Mystery Ranch makes some of the highest quality backpacks on the market, used by hunters, firefighters, and of course, military operators. They also have an extensive line of civilian backpacks for everyday carry and, of course, backpacking. If there was a Mystery Ranch Venn diagram that took into account size and function and features, the TerraFrame 50 would be right in the middle of it. So let's get into the features of this bag and see if they're any good and worth the asking price that this bag demands. First of all, we have a 50 liter main bag. We have a tri-zip design with YKK water resistant and water sealed zippers. We've got two smaller pockets on top, uh, one for holding, I'm assuming, sunglasses and the other one is more of a mesh design. We'll get more into that in just a moment here. We've got two pockets on the side of the bag that can be used to support something like a rifle stock, a tripod, or a Nalgene water bottle. We've got a fully adjustable waist belt that is five pieces and extremely comfortable. It's also got little PALS webbing on the side. We've also got an adjustable back so you can adjust it to the height of your torso. And of course, the highlight of this bag is the overload feature. It comes in black or green. That overload feature is thanks to the fact that the TerraFrame 50 uses the Guide Light MT frame. It's got a very flexible waist belt in a carbon fiber rectangular frame. This means it can support a ton of weight while being very lightweight itself and being very flexible, which means when you run and move the whole bag and the waist belt is going to conform to your body. It's not going to be getting in your way. The guide light frame is absolutely amazing for hiking, backpacking, and hunting. However, it does fall short in a tactical application. You cannot shoot prone with this bag on. The frame is just too tall. It's gonna hit the back of your head when you're in the prone. It also prohibits the use of a helmet. However, the US military uses a version of this frame called the NICE frame. It functions very, very similarly, but it has accommodations for a helmet and body armor, meaning it's a lot shorter, so you can wear a helmet, and it seems to actually literally support armor plates. That frame would be amazing, and if there's a way for me to get that standalone and just attach my TerraFrame 50 bag, that would be amazing. I don't even know if that's possible. The nice frame bags are extremely expensive, but I'm sure they are very, very good. So if you absolutely need a Mystery Ranch bag and you absolutely need to run a helmet and body armor, that's really going to be your only option. The big question with a bag like this is whether or not the overload feature is actually worth anything. Is it just a gimmick? And I can tell you right now, no, it is not a gimmick. The overload feature is actually incredible. It's the closest you can get to having a flat bed on the back of your backpack. That's kind of the best way to describe it because you can really kind of fit anything in there. I've hiked out firewood, rifles, sleep systems, tents, sometimes all four while using this feature while still being able to use the whole 50 liters inside of that bag. So even though this is technically just a 50 liter bag, it really is kind of a 100 plus liter bag, depending on what you're packing out and what you're trying to do. As you can see, even with this full blown log in the back, I can still probably fit like a tent and like a sleeping bag on top of it if I really needed to and really wanted to. Now, what you sacrifice here is waterproofness. That would be on you to waterproof whatever you're loading in the back. But depending on where you are and what you're doing, you might not care. Going back to the guide light frame that makes the whole overload feature possible, it is also absolutely incredible. Yes, you cannot go prone while you're wearing it, which to me is kind of a big deal. But I think to most people, they're not gonna care. They just want something that's gonna be comfortable on their long rucks through the woods, in which case this is absolutely gonna perform. It's not gonna get in your way. It's not gonna feel like a nuisance. It's not gonna have any hot spots. At least that's just my experience. As long as you set it up properly, it's probably gonna be the most comfortable frame you have ever worn in your life. It is absolutely excellent. Something I wish Mystery Ranch would take advantage of is the fact that you can actually detach and reattach via a little hook in the back of the frame. What this means is that hypothetically, if you had another bag that uses the same frame, you could hypothetically have three or four different bags, all of varying sizes and purposes and camo patterns. And then you can just store the ones you're not using. And depending on what mission or what trip you're going on, you can pick the right bag for the mission. Now, Mystery Ranch at this point does not really take advantage of it. They do sell some standalone bags, but not really that many. 
If you're careful on eBay, you can find some bags standalone, but I really think there's an opportunity here for Mystery Ranch to have a whole sort of AR-15 lower receiver, upper receiver system. In the AR community, you can just have one AR-15 lower and then like two or three different uppers all configured for different missions. And Mystery Ranch has the opportunity here to sell you the frame and then sell you two or three different bags. And I really wish they would take more advantage of that. So we've covered the frame, we've covered the overload feature. Let's get to the last part of this review. The bag itself, is it any good? Well, unfortunately for me, this was the most disappointing part of the entire pack. I was spoiled because before I got the TerraFrame 50, I was using the 511 Rush 24. Now it's a very different bag. It's just basically a day bag for day hiking. However, something that bag has is organization in spades and the TerraFrame 50 just simply doesn't have any organization really at all. The TerraFrame 50 is a lot more akin to just kind of a giant bucket that you throw all of your gear in as opposed to a more organized bag. It should be said Mystery Ranch does make the hunting variant of this pack the Pintler and that bag does have internal organization. So if you like the TerraFrame 50 but you just want some internal organization, pick up the Pintler instead. You're going to be paying a premium and it's going to weigh slightly more but this is already a basically a four or five pound bag so it's not really that much of a weight penalty. It should be said that the fabric of the bag is incredibly tough and durable. I'm 6'5", so I'm very regularly getting my bag caught on tree branches and things like that. I also hike in a lot of areas with lava rocks, which are very sharp, and this bag has held up great. There's been no tears or rips or anything like that, and I certainly don't see any signs of wear. So this is a very, very rugged material. The downside of that is that there is no expanding of the bag whatsoever. It is 50 liters. There's, there's no going past that. And once you fill up the bag completely, you can't really use the side pockets. So keep that in mind. This bag is not going to balloon. It's not going to expand a little bit to accommodate a slightly bigger load. It is just 50 liters. So keep that in mind. If you need to carry bigger loads, that's what the overload features for. You should also highly consider looking at the 65 and 80 liter variants of this bag if you want more than 50 liters. So as far as pricing, this bag originally MSRP for about 400 bucks. I think that is honestly pretty overpriced. However, I bought it on sale for 300. If you really want the overload feature, I think 300 is worth it. If this fits the criteria that you're looking for, if you need to hike out a bunch of odd, weird equipment into the wilderness, like camera equipment, big tents, lots of guns and ammo, right? <laughs> and a 50 liter bag is gonna meet your needs, then I think this bag is a great buy. Again, if you are just kind of dedicated to finding a, you know, I'm gonna go get into combat, I'm gonna go to war. If you're looking for a bag for that purpose, this bag is not gonna fit the bill quite as well as some other bags that are about the same price. I would highly recommend looking at maybe used Everly stock bags. I would recommend looking at the Crossfire bags. Those look really promising. Um, there's even some other bags. Honestly, the 511 Rush 100 doesn't look that bad. Um, that would probably fit the bill better than this bag if you're looking for a go-to war bag. If you don't really care about shooting from the prone, if you don't wear a helmet and you're a prepper, then yeah, I would say this bag is good. I am looking into perhaps spray painting this bag or perhaps getting a replacement bag in olive green. I am not opposed to spray painting a $300 backpack. Don't think I am, right? If I run out of options, I will break out the Rust-Oleum and I will spray paint the sucker M81 Woodland. I don't care. <laughs> but if I can find a replacement bag in any kind of camel pattern, I'll honestly probably gun for it. If you have a Mystery Ranch bag that is standalone that mounts to this frame, hit me up in my email. I will pay for shipping if you give me a good deal. Okay, so hit me up. I would love to get it. Anyway, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this review. If you enjoyed it, let me know, leave a comment, leave a like, and of course, subscribe if you wanna see more content like this moving forward into the future. Thank you so much for your time today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.